Hi, this is Ron Ball, and I welcome you back to Choose Greatness, your key to a happier life. We've had such wonderful response to this show. We've had great reaction, people commenting, emails. We've heard from so many of you. We hear from someone every week about the impact of these principles. And if you're new to our show today, let me give you an alert as to what you're going to find out. These are the principles of godly greatness. There are certain reasons why success happens, and we are going to learn together those reasons. I know you want a greater life, a better life, a happier life. Well, this is your opportunity for that to happen. God's principles always work, and there's a reason why they work. Now, we have had a wonderful opportunity to have numerous guests on this program, and everyone always enjoys uh, the people who join me for this opportunity. Well, today is no exception. I have a good friend today, and uh, you're going to enjoy his story. Uh, he has built a very successful business. Uh, he knows a great deal about success. So I want you right now to contact all of your friends. Uh, get on the phone, text them, uh, let them know that this show is on right now. And they need to tune in because uh, we're going to have a series of programs with this guest and learn success principles that are godly, biblical, uh, that are just right and they work. And let me give you a little introduction before I introduce him. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to learn principles that he and I both have discovered in the business world because there are certain things that create success. There are certain ways to manage money. There are certain ways to build a business. There are things that are proven principles. They actually do the job. And you want to know what these are. If you're frustrated over your financial condition, if you are frustrated over your inability to get ahead, if you're bored at work and want a new opportunity, if there are dis functional elements in your family and your concern, well, this is the program for you. This is your program because we're going to deal with how to fix those situations from a biblical perspective with principles that have been tested in the real world. This is going to be great, and you're going to love every minute of it. So again, let everybody know that Choose Greatness, Your Key to Happiness is on the air right now. Now, my guest today is a friend, as I just mentioned, uh, Alberto Aguilera, and I've known you for a number of years now. Yes. It's been um, a, a long stretch of good friendship. And uh, I think we first met when I was speaking at a convention uh, for another organization, and you were also speaking. Yes, exactly. Was, and uh, uh, we, we, uh, we, we encountered each other. Do you remember that? Yes, we, you were uh, around your books, and I, yes. get, I get very interested in one of them, and we were... Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Everybody. And we started a conversation. It went very, very fluid because we have a very a, a lot of things in common. Yes, and, and we immediately liked each other. Exactly. And uh, of course, you're easy to like. I, I mean, I, I you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I told someone. Um, uh, just on one of our earlier programs mm -hmm. that I'm trying to have people as guests who are better looking than me. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> I think you certainly qualify. Uh, well, you, you look great on TV. Thank you, sir. You're uh, welcome. You. You're from the Dominican Republic originally. Yes, I was born and raised there in the well, Dominican yeah, Republic. Tell me some about your story. I want to know, this is what I want to know. When you were growing up, what did you learn about success? What sparked a dream in your heart? And what led you spiritually to a Christian commitment? That's, that's what I'm looking for. Wow. It's a, uh, it's a question that is, I, I really appreciate that you, uh, that you ask it. Um, I, I was born in the Dominican Republic. My father is a Spaniard. My mother is Dominican. She's a lawyer. And my father used to work for the Spanish bank in the Dominican Republic. That allowed him and allowed us to get in touch with a lot of people who were Spanish successful business owners in the Dominican Republic. And I grew up looking to all those people and see the way they have grown. And they were, they were growing all the time, supermarkets, uh, big malls, uh, shops. And, and I was telling to myself, wow, why, why not? Why, why, if I can do that, why, how can I do that? So when I was 19, 20 actually, I graduated from, the, from college as an industrial engineer. But an industrial engineer? Industrial I engineer. did not know that. Yes, yes, I'm an industrial engineer. 
And my father get me to work with one of his friends in a huge uh, uh, shop, a uh, steel structure shop. So I learned there and said, you know what? I'm going to do this. So I started my very small uh, structure, steel structure shop in, in, with uh, just one machine. And, and well, you I, already had some ambition then. You had yes. some drive. And, uh, Listen to what I did. I told the guy, this guy that used to work with the people that I was working with, that I will give him the same salary they, will, they were giving him if he comes to open this shop with me. <laughs> and I was planning to pay him with my salary from another job that I had. Well, wait a minute, you're going to give him your money? In, 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 in case that the business doesn't go well. Right. For like, uh, like three or four months. We were, I, I was giving him my, my salary, <laughs> but then st things started to pick up and I got married in 89 and around 91, things were not going that well. And that was when I uh, was introduced to the Amway opportunity, in 1992 actually. And by then I knew that I was uh, in the very, very close to, to, be, to have to close my, my, my shop. So that is why, I took a very deep, um, uh, I would say, mm, I studied and, 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 and saw that everything I wanted was in, in this business, so I, we decided to start. Getting to the second part of your question, very uh, farther in my career during Amway, I will, let's fast forward to 2003, I was completely tired of work, work, work without the results that I was looking for. Well, that's it, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat that phrase. You said you were tired of work, work, work without results. Without the results. That's what makes you tired, it's without results. Exactly, <laughs> and, and I've, been, I've been invited for a long time in that, uh, uh, 19, I will say that since 1999, every year I was invited to a weekend retreat of our church uh, for some uh, friends. And you said you grew up Catholic, right? Exactly, exactly. Right. I grew up, I was uh, Catholic, uh, we're still, uh, we're Catholic, me and my wife. Um, we, they were calling me every year for this special, a specific re uh, weekend retreat, and I, I never had time. I don't have time this weekend, I don't have time this weekend. And for some reason, they called me. We were together in the gym, and uh, me and my wife, we were going out. By that time, um, I was completely desperate on what is going on. Why can I, if I am working, if I am studying, if I am doing what, everything they tell me to do, why is not working? Uh, because of my personality, I am very hands-on. You know, I was doing everything and everything was on me. I am the man, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, that was 14 years ago, so I was still in my early, uh, uh, lately 20s, early 30s. So, for some reason, I say, okay, I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Wow, and now, did your wife go as well, or did she? No, because it was first uh, the the man and later. So, so a men's retreat. Exactly, it was a men's okay. retreat. Oh, I can, I can uh, remember vividly that uh, I think it was the second day how I felt the Holy Spirit, yes. all this heat. Oh, this heat, I love <laughs> yes. that. Yes, <laughs> I, I, was, I was praying in, in an air conditioned room and I started to sweat as if I was doing <laughs> uh, hot yoga, you know, it was a <laughs> And I, I, I felt the presence in a way that I cannot describe. And from there, uh, some years before, one of my associates in Amway, um, that is my mentor, uh, told me that I should start to read the Bible. And I have been reading it, but you know, when you don't have, uh, I was reading a book, yes. you see? But after this weekend, it was a complete new whole way of seeing things. And so even the Bible came alive. Exactly. I, I started to read the same, understanding completely different things. Uh, I, I understood the, the way God answers you with your own voice when you just ask and, and stay still, and you give time, and ideas come your way, and solutions come your way, and everything you ask for come, comes now, into your During mind. that retreat, what 
what woke you up spiritually? What, what really touched your heart? What, what spoke to you? What, what was it, do you remember, that really connected with you in that retreat? Um, for me, it was to learn how to pray. I didn't know how to pray before. You know, just the normal um, praying that we do in automatic, prayer, in, yeah. in, in automatic mode. But I learned how to just talk to God as if he's my friend, as if he's just right with me, he's inside me, he's not out there. And, and I could, you know, feel it. So that's where so, Jesus became real to you. Exactly, exactly. And that changed everything because from there I understood that I had to work as if everything depends on me, but I need to pray as if everything depends on him. And things started to happen in a very interesting way because I was working this group and there were other groups growing. And, and it was like, like the message was, it's not you. <laughs> it's me. It's when I, whenever I want. It's at my time. It's with whomever I want. And to be able to surrender and say, just, you know, God, I'm here. I'm your son. Do whatever you need to do. I'll be here serving you and everything is for your glory. Let's do this. And so, everything started to happen. So, so things started to happen when you started to really trust and obey God. Exactly. When, when, when I learned that I have to ask only one time and after that I need to thank. <laughs> for what I have received. Because Did you hear that? Ask after you God asked, and then thank God. Exactly, all the time, because before I, I kept asking, like, if he have never heard me. So <laughs> I understood that I just ask one time and then start to thank, because during the thing, when you are giving thanks, he's giving you back, the, the open you back the doors and give you, giving you the ideas that will help you to get that that you are thinking. Now you said something that I want our audience to, to focus on. You mentioned that God gave you ideas, yeah. and gave you direction. Exactly. And that's happened when you really learned how to pray. Uh, I was doing um, a function, you know what that mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. I was speaking at an Amway event uh, about a year and a half ago. And we had a big crowd and a lot of excitement. You've mm -hmm. been in many of these events yourself. Uh, great enthusiasm. And on Sunday morning, we had a special Christian service, and you've been in many of those. Yes. And I spoke that morning, I spoke during the convention on biblical principles of how to be successful in your life. And great response, I was very excited, God really blessed it, but then the Sunday service came. And there were a lot of people just like you there who, who uh, just were just learning, like you used to be, mm -hmm. uh, just learning before your retreat. And something happened, and I want, I want all of you to listen to this. Something remarkable happened. We had about, I gave an invitation for people to make commitments to Christ to come forward mm -hmm. publicly, like Billy Graham has done for years. Well, about 200 people walked to the front. And I, I remember this vividly, it's about a year and a half ago. All these people were standing at the front. And I asked, how many of you came to make a commitment to Christ for the first time? And some hands went up. And then I said, how many of you came to make a new commitment, a deeper commitment? And more hands went up. And then I asked all those people this question. I said, how many of you experience the real dynamic presence of God every single day? And almost nobody moved. So I changed my question. And I said, how many of you call on God in prayer? And you just mentioned that. How many of you call on God in prayer? and study your Bible, not read it, but study it every day. And out of those 200 people, Alberto, how many people do you think raised their hands out of 200 that, that did that every day? Let's say These were a lot of 10? Christians. Four. Wow. Four people out of 200. And that was why they had no spiritual power, because they weren't accessing God. So I was excited when you mentioned that retreat. Because you said not only did you come to really understand who Jesus is in your heart and make that commitment, but you learned how to pray. And, and I will add that I learned how to listen to him. How to listen to God. Uh, we are, our minds are too fast. That they, they <laughs> well, that's true today. Our <laughs> yeah. minds are too fast. Yes, and, and we don't stop um, talking to us. And we, when you're talking to you all the time, you're not able to listen to, voice, to God's voice. I remember I mentioned this in our recognition as New Diamonds. Uh, one night I was at home and my, one of my associates called me that the alarm went off. And it was like 11.30 in the night. 
and it's the, the typical thing that happened. I went on my shorts and my t-shirt and flip-flops to the office to see what happened. I get there, um, it was nothing, for some reason it went off, I just turned it, turn it off, put it back to work, went back home, and I was thinking, and getting to this light, I felt a powerful, I won't call it a voice, it was a powerful message. Stop, I had a green light, and I felt, stop. Normally, I wouldn't pay attention, but now I was a lot more, I was a lot more, uh, I will say, awake. So I just stopped, and this guy went in red. He just jumped red light. <laughs> and I said, oh my God, <laughs> what, what would have happened? And for me, all this was a new experience of being able to listen the way I feel and I, I don't like to call it voices because some people would no, be no, like, I understand, hey, I understand, you understand, I understand. Are, more than voices are ideas right. that comes to your impressions. mind. Impressions. that right. comes to your mind. Because if you're listening to voices, maybe you need to go to the <laughs> psychologist or psych but, psychiatrist. But, but you learn to but recognize you feel it. God's Exactly, voice. you feel, you feel it. Most of the times what I f have are ideas, awakenings, right. like, Something that I didn't know how to, how to solve or handle, right. now I know. I, now I have an idea that works. But, but that happens because, and I want you to learn this from Alberto today, that happens in this man's life because he slows down exactly. and takes time to listen to God. My good friend at First Baptist Church Atlanta, Charles Stanley, who I worked with for five years as his special preaching assistant, Charles Stanley wrote a wonderful book years ago called How to Listen to God. And the emphasis was how to listen, how to actually do it. And part of it, it begins when you pay attention, when you stop and listen. Now, you've built um, a successful Amway business, and, and, and I, I've spoken in many Amway events. That's how I know you. And I've always respected the work that it takes to build a business like that. It's not easy, is it? No, it's not. No. But what, what, tell, tell us about how, how you developed your business. Well, what we do basically is help people to help themselves. We help people to start their own business with very little, if we can, not, we cannot even call it capital. Uh, you just buy a, a kit from Amway and you start to do business with them, but mentored by people who have done it before. Mentor. Exactly. So in the 90s, I was mentored by people who went before us. And when I say us, it's me and my wife. We put it together. Uh, and now we are mentored to people. We're giving back everything we learn and, and all the experience that we have. So what people, what they do is basically they change the products that they use for the Amway products, who are a lot better than most of the products that are in the market. And they start to make money on that. And at the same time, they share those products with people who are around them that need those products. Right. But when they can get really, really financially free is when they build a network. And think about this in, in, in times like this where everything is a network. Uh, everybody around you needs product, need products and everybody around you needs more money. So what we do is we help the people around us. And what we have found is a lot of fear. Most people is, uh, are in fear uh, of treat, uh, try new things. And some others do it. Um, it doesn't matter if they have fear or not. So what we do is looking for, we are all the time looking for the people who are, <laughs> uh, they wanted to do it, it doesn't matter if they well, have fear or not. Tell me this, what do you think are some of the biggest challenges people have that you meet to be successful? What, what stands in their way? Fear is one of them. Fear is one of them. What do you think them. holds people back from having a more successful financial life? Well, what, what holds them back? Wow, well, that is a big question. Um, for me, it's the Programming, the mind programming we have Programming gone. of the mind, the, yes. how they think. How the how way they, they think. think, the way they see themselves as, as a result of the education they have gone. We are, most of us have been educated to be uh, middle class or less, working for somebody else or have a, a, a small, small business. And if you're a Christian, maybe you think that having money is bad, uh, depending on where you were raised. And when, you, when we get to people who have all these things in their minds, the only chance we got is if, if we can 
um, spark a little dream spark in their mind. Spark a dream. Exactly. Say so, more about that. How do you do that? Uh, we, we start to share with them the dreams that we had. Uh, I remember I, I didn't want to go to a job anymore. I wanted to pay all my debts. I wanted to be able to travel with my, uh, with my wife and kid. And I had just one in, in, in those years, in the 90s. Uh, so we start to share with them not what we have accomplished, because when I started, I haven't accomplished anything. Mm -hmm. It was me look, talking to them about what was trying to accomplish. What you wanted I, to do. I want to get to this point. I'm not there yet. Do you want to come with me? <laughs> so people sometimes look at you like, <laughs> you see? But if you are really passionate about it, your eyes will spark. You will have, well, it's like when you, for me, when you dream with your heart, what you're doing is you are claiming you are, um, that right that God gave you to create. To create, that's, because that's great. Because that dream is what God is telling you, go and create that. Now, Alberto, I'm so happy you said that, really happy you said <laughs> it, because that gives me an opportunity to say something to all of you. Having a big dream is motivating. It is inspiring. It is energizing. I, I grew up with many people in many churches. I didn't grow up in the church. I became a Christian in my teens. My family never went to church, and we came to Christ a bit late. But I've met a lot of people in the churches since then, and so many people I've met struggle with mediocrity. Uh, they, they, they're afraid. They never try anything new. They get in ruts. They, they get uh, to where they're afraid to take risks. Everything you're describing. But the moment they get inspired, the spark comes, right? Exactly. And you mentioned God's creative principle, His creative energy. That excited me when you said that because that's what can elevate you and make you rise higher. Now, I think you can already see something in my guest, Alberto, today, uh, that this is a very genuine, sincere businessman. Now, he's, uh, he's done very well. He's not just, uh, if you know anything about Amway structure, he's not just an Amway diamond. He's an Amway executive diamond, which is a higher level, which means he's been very successful, which means he has made... Um, he has made money, <laughs> and that's a good thing. You earned it, that you, you work for it. But the reason I wanted him on is because he's so genuine. He's so sincere. He's not uh, somebody who just says, well, look how great I've done. No, he wants to help other people. That's what I like about him. So I want you to get this spark as well. Now, we're not telling you to do any particular business. We're not telling you to do the Amway business. We're just saying find your okay. passion okay. and find your dream. God has put it in you. When you were born, when you were born, God already had an exciting plan for you. But some of you, some of you have not experienced that plan in its fulfillment. So you're just dragging through life. You're just struggling through. You're in the shadows when you could be in God's brilliant light. And so this happened to this man. He tried a business. He tried another business. It took years to develop the business you have now. Yes. But he didn't give up. He kept dreaming. And that's what I want you to get out of today's program, the power of that dream mechanism, the power of that dream inspiration. Now, when you talk about having a dream for something, Tell me what it's like when you share that with somebody who's never had a dream. Tell me what it's like when you see them wake up. Does that excite you? That is marvelous. That's, that is the best part of what we do. When you see people, uh, their eyes start to open. You see the way, I, I'm talking to five, six people, and you see some of them getting tired. <laughs> you know I mean? And some others like, and they, they they're, get it. They're getting it. And then when you meet with them uh, uh, alone, they, they tell you, I've been looking for something like this. Uh, this, is something, this is something I want to do. I try to get them to even name the project. I ask them, what would you do with uh, additional such and such, and such uh, amount of money, which, which is something that I know that we can get in maybe the first year. Right. They tell me, I'll bring my wife from, from work. And I say, okay, let's call it Operation Bring Your Wife From Work. <laughs> <laughs> because I know that for me and my wife, that is what worked. We had the dream, so 
when we had to be patient because things weren't going our way because it was taking longer than we thought and we was costing more than we thought, <laughs> that dream kept us going, kept us looking, kept us uh, growing, kept us studying, kept us asking questions and, and, and working all the time because we wanted, we wanted so badly that we, we were not ready to quit. See, Alberto is not the kind of person who would complain Oh, life is hard, it's not my fault, I'm a victim. You actually took responsibility for your life because you mentioned learning, growing, asking questions. That's very exciting. Now, we're almost at the end of this program and we want you to come back because I want to continue this conversation because we haven't yet learned some of the actual success principles that he utilized. I want you to know what he did. I want you to know how he manages money. I want you to know his attitude towards success and why it works. We have so many great things we're going to do and to help you learn this, I want you right now, when this program is finished, to go to choosegreatness.com. Choosegreatness.com. You can order the book, Choose Greatness, which will introduce you to these principles. It's very simple. It's full of stories, which I think help you learn. It, it, people love this book. We hear from people constantly who love this book. It just opens their mind and heart to how a Christian can experience real success for God's glory. And then order the audio set, The Success Test. The Success Test. The Success Test test. It will show you what you need to work on to be truly successful. The success test is easy, it is fast, and it's fun, and you will love it. Choosegreatness.com. So go there today, tell your friends, and learn as much as you can about success for God's glory. So we're going to have Alberto back on the next show. Tell your friends, and remember, whatever you do, to choose greatness. <music>